All right, so today we're going to get started in solving word problems using trig or trigonometry. All right, trigonometry is used in any profession that uses angle measurements. Um, so carpenters, construction workers, engineers, all have to use trigonometry. So the word problems that go with them can actually be quite relevant. Okay, so solving word problems, your sine, cosine, and tangent don't change. Sine is still the opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is still the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent is still the opposite over the adjacent. But word problems introduce, introduce two new vocabulary terms. First one is the angle of elevation. And what the angle of elevation is, it's always measured from the ground up. Think of like an elevator that only goes up. It's always inside the triangle. So in an angle of elevation, if this is the ground down here, the angle represented between the top of what you're looking at, like a tree for example, would be your angle of elevation. So in the diagram here it shows the x marks the angle of elevation of the top of the tree as seen from, from the point of view of the ground. So the angle of elevation is in relation to the movement of your eyes. You're looking straight ahead, you must rise or elevate your eyes to look at the top of the tree. Another one is the angle of depression. Okay, angle of depression is always outside the triangle that you draw. It's never inside the triangle. In the diagram here, what you're going to see is that this X now marks your angle of depression. I've colored it in green. Um, so from the top of a lighthouse to a boat. So again, you're looking out straight. You're standing at the top of the lighthouse looking out straight ahead. You've got to lower or depress your eyes to see the boat in the water. That's the angle of depression. Okay, if you're looking at the diagram above, see if I can manage this in the video, okay, of the angle of depression, the dark black horizontal line is parallel to the side CA of your triangle ABC. Okay, so this is going to be alternate interior angles with the angle of elevation. What this basically means, the important part to remember, is that your angle of elevation is equal to your angle of depression. Those two things are equal to each other. Okay, so when we have the angle of depression that's outside of our triangle, there's two ways to handle it. Number one is to subtract your angle of depression from 90 degrees to get that inside angle so that you get the top angle of the triangle. Or, because they are alternate interior angles, you know they're equal to each other. So because they're equal to each other, you just take your angle of depression, move to the other angle in your triangle, the one it's not close to, and make that the angle that's inside the triangle. That's the easiest thing to do. You just need to make sure you're putting the angle in the right position. Obviously, it's not the 90 degree angle. The two angles, unless it's 45 degrees, will not be equal to each other up top, so you're going to move it to the bottom angle in your triangle. Once you've created the diagram, the word problems are solved exactly like the problems that we discussed in, when we did the lesson on finding the sides and finding the angles, just like the videos from last night. So what do these word problems look like? So a boy... Flying a kite lets out 300 feet of string, which makes an angle of 38 degrees with the ground. Assuming that the string is straight, how high above the ground is the kite? So you drew a little picture. You got a guy, a little boy holding the kite. So it's asking for how high is the kite, so that straight up and down leg. We know the angle here. So what do we need? The distance from the ground or the height. And so we've got to set it up. What uses from my angle, what do I have and what do I want? I have a hypotenuse and an angle. I want the opposite side. So the what uses opposite and hypotenuse together is sine. So the sine of my angle equals the opposite over hypotenuse. To get rid of the 3, I'm going to multiply times sine of 38. And the height of that kite is approximately... 184.7 feet. So let's look at the next one. A ladder leaning against the wall makes an angle of 74 degrees with the ground. If the foot of the ladder is 6.5 feet from the wall, how high is the wall? 
how high on the wall is the ladder. So again, you've got to draw yourself a little diagram. You don't have to be this detailed, like you don't have to like draw bricks, okay, or the edge. Just a triangle will suffice as long as you can label that's your wall and that's your ladder. All right, we do know that it's making a 74 degree angle with the ground. So we can go ahead and fill that part in. Right, so we can fill in a 74 degrees right here because that's what's going to go there. All right, and then again, what do we need? I need the height in terms of trig. What do I have and what do I want? I have my adjacent side, I want my opposite. So what uses opposite and adjacent? That would be tangent. All right, so I need the height on the wall. Okay, so tangent is what uses opposite and adjacent. So I'm gonna put tangent of my angle equals opposite side over my adjacent measure. I'm going to multiply both sides by 6.5, plug it in my calculator, and I'll have the solution for x. You guys are going to get this worksheet in class, so you'll be able to work out the rest.